Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. Today is Saturday. Today is going to be our big Italian feast tonight, and uh, we have a lot to do today. Um, it is actually super duper cold outside. I know the lighting's terrible. I haven't cut my morning lights on yet, but it is going to, um, it is not even going to get above freezing today. And it's in the 20s right now, but as the sun comes up, it begins to drop a little at first. So we're going to get much colder, and then tonight it's going to be well into the teens. And what's funny is next week, on Friday of next week, we're going to be close to 70 degrees. So welcome to North Carolina. But anyway, so Bryant's going to build me a fire in just a little bit. Isaac is coming to help on the farm. Caroline is going to run some errands for me. So I thought, well, we might as well kick off this day um, that we're going to have kind of a big family day with a breakfast. So I'm going to cook just a simple sausage casserole. It's the sausage cream cheese and the crescent roll casserole. Super duper easy. I'm not going to film that because most of my filming is going to be on tonight's supper. But I just wanted to come on and say good morning and welcome to our cold day in North Carolina, which is cold for us. I know some of you guys, bless your hearts, would be so thankful to have temperatures in the 20s or 30s. That All of those that you are well below zero and you're snowed in. Now, I would like to have a little snow. I, I'm still waiting patiently for our snow this year. So, um, but I'm going to get to frying some sausage. I'm going to put some bacon in the air fryer. And we'll see you all through today. Well, it's about time to set out our focaccia dough. And if you remember, I've made two other doughs. And we're just going to plop them in the greased pans. Let me get some olive oil. We're just going to put them in the pans and let them... Hang out. I always forget to open this. And I love the fact that it opens. I don't know why I keep forgetting to open it. Um, we're going to just let this hang out for about three to four hours. Um, and it'll just rise. And so we're going to get that ready. I'll turn you guys down. There's really nothing much to see other than just going to kind of pull it together like so. And we're just going to plop it right in here. I've got some grease. It's buttered and there's olive oil. And I'm going to kind of just flip it around in that olive oil and get it good and greased up. So I'm going to set this behind me. And we're going to get the other one in here. This is going to be so good. All right, so we're gonna just set this over behind us and just let them hang out. I've got a salad to make, salad dressing to make, and we have a birthday party to run to. So we've got lots to keep us busy over the next little bit. And I'll go get my glasses because I can't see anything. And we will Bring the, oh, I've already laid out my chicken tetrazzini. I sat it out of the freezer last night, and now it's sitting out on the cabinet, completely thawing, you know, getting there. And the biscotti, I'm not sure is going to make it because I've made me a pot of coffee to have a piece of biscotti. And um, so the tiramisu is hanging out in the refrigerator. It's been being nibbled on a little bit here and there. So we are almost ready for this delicious meal, but I'm going to rinse my hands, clean these bowls, and I'll see you back with what we do next. Okay, everyone. So we have a birthday party to go to, and I basically want to get my salad put together and my dressing made for my salad. 
Um, I am going to kind of start that, get my salad put together, and we're going to do that together. So hang tight. I'll meet you back right here. Okay, I got my hair pulled back out of my eyes. I got everything I need. My hands are washed and we are ready to go. So I've got two garlic cloves here that I'm just gonna smash. And then we are just gonna chop them up. We're just gonna mince it real good. I can't wait to show you what I'm going to do with all this garlic that I have in the refrigerator. Super excited about this. Look y'all, I turned my knife upside down or jump out of me. Okay, all right. So what I have here is I have a pint jar <clears throat> with um, a half a cup of olive oil or whatever oil of your choice you're choosing. And I'm adding in the garlic. And I don't want to miss any of that garlic, so be sure everything is off your knife. And I got a few strays right here. There we go. And some on my finger. All right. So now what I'm going to do, is before I get too far, I'm going to go ahead and add some salt. I'm getting more on my cutting board. All right. And we're going to go in with, uh, let's see, let's go in with four tablespoons, and I'm just going to eyeball this. One, two, three, four. And that was just an eyeball of mayonnaise. Um, Let's go in with four tablespoons of red wine vinegar. This is just red wine vinegar. One, two, three, and four. All right. We're gonna go in with some black pepper. Where's my pepper? Let's see. Doesn't say how much, so we're just gonna give it a little pinch. And we're gonna go in with a teaspoon of dried oregano. And I'm just gonna eyeball the teaspoon. All right, and that is it for our dressing. So now I'm just gonna put the lid on that. I'm gonna make sure the lid is on well, and we shake. And look at there, is that not gorgeous? That is our beautiful Italian dressing for tonight. Okay, I'm gonna wash my vegetables, wash my cutting board off, get them over here, and we'll put this salad together and I can't wait. So excited. All right, I'll meet you back right here. All right guys, let's get this salad together. I've got some romaine here on my cutting board. I have some iceberg. I have some radicchio. I have some cherry tomatoes and I have a purple onion. Now that's not all. We're going to go in with some, I've got croutons to go in this. I have some pepperoncinis to go in this. I have some Kalamata olives. I'm gonna put those on a side dish because not everybody wants olives. And um, we're just gonna put this all together. 
Normally, I am a tear your lettuce kind of person, but um, since we've got so much to do, I'm going in with chopping it today. I don't usually do that. I am a tear. I'm a tear kind of girl. But um, not today. All right. So I'll get you guys turned down here now that I've got the iceberg lettuce out of the way. And we'll do some this radicchio. Gonna take the outer leaves off. Okay, and I'm gonna cut this core out. I'm gonna slice it in half, and then we're just gonna kind of um, shred it. I'm not sure how much I want to go in there. start with just that to begin with. We can come back and do this extra, the other half, if we need to. All right, let's get some of this romaine over here. And I like to chop off this, the loose, this, you know, wilty type end. Now, if you don't mind that, you keep it. And these are pieces of radicchio. <laughs> Just take a small handful at a time. I'm still gonna cut some more of that off. All right, and here we go. And I like little pieces of romaine. If you like big pieces, you could actually leave these pieces whole, and that would be totally fine. Get out of there. All right. Let's go in and finish cutting this up. I'm gonna cut some more of this really leafy, wilty kind of, I don't know what you call it, but I like it to be crisp, not floppy. But I do like a little bit of the darker green just to give it some pretty color. All right. Now, whoops, I better set it over here. Some of these big stalky pieces I'm gonna pull out. All right, I believe that's all the radicchio I'm gonna put in there. Okay. So now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna slide all that to the side, and I'm just gonna cut these red cherry tomatoes in half. And yes, I know the trick of the, well that Pamper Chef has a, I don't have one, one of those great tomato things. This, you line them up and just and I know you can do that with lids. I've just never tried it or anything. So, I'm not going to put the croutons on this. I'm not going to put the salad dressing on. We need to taste the salad dressing before we finish this up. We need to taste it to see if it needs more salt, more pepper, more oregano. Just to see what it needs. So, I'll shake it up again before we are done. Let me get all these tomatoes sliced up. I'll get the pepperoncinis out. I'm just going to set the jar of olives on the table. I'll show you the croutons I have. I should have made my own, but I didn't. I've been making Italian stuff all week. I cooked breakfast this morning. Um, 
I cooked a dessert, a different dessert the other night. We had, you know, Bryant had some counseling, so I did another dessert. Um, so, I just said, well, you know, there's not much of the biscotti left. Y'all, that biscotti was so good. We'll talk more about the finished um, dinner before we end today's video. I don't know when we're going to do couch time tomorrow. Um, couch time is where Bryant gives an update or, or a summary of his Sunday morning message. Um, but we have a funeral tomorrow directly after church or pretty close to right after church. We won't be coming home. And um, so I'm not sure what we're going to do. So, all right, let's give this, let me get a spoon. And we'll give this a taste. Definitely more salt. And I think black pepper. And maybe some more vinegar. Alright. Go in with some more black pepper. I'm going to give it a splash more of vinegar. And we're going to do a little more shaky shake. I thought I had the camera turned down. All right, let's give it another taste. Let me grab a different spoon. going in with some more vinegar. I mean, it's got a twang. I think that'll be it. I'm going to mess up a ton of spoons. We're going to try it one more time. Creamy Italian. That's it. That is it. All right. Well, there you have it. There is our dressing. I'm not going to put it on till right before the family gets here. But let me show you the croutons I'm going to use. Ready? So we got Olive Garden croutons. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to stick the salad in the refrigerator. I'm going to put the dressing in the refrigerator. I'm going to go get ready to go to this party. I'm not going to change clothes or anything. It's, it's a child's party. Um, so, I'll see you back in just a little bit. Guys, I forgot something super important for our salad. The purple onion. I'm just going to slice it in half. Peel the paper off of it. You know, I hate peeling an onion. Not because of my eyes, but just because I never know what layer to grab. And it just never comes off real easy for me. All right. So I'm going to do half circles and cut them super thin. Bryant is not an onion fan, so we are going to, you know, not put terribly many. Get off of there. On this salad. All right. 
he's going to say, hey, you put onion on there, you should put olives. <laughs> and I don't blame him. But I think everybody, nobody's opposed to the onion flavor. I think it's a texture thing around here. For Bryant, anyway. He likes the flavor. All right. Here's our beautiful salad, all but the croutons, and uh, I may do some Parmesan shaves, shavings on here, but we'll wait till time to serve before we do that. Here we are at the birthday party um, that we've come to. We're a little early, but um, it's for brothers. It is for Jameson, who just turned one, or who is turning one, and Andrew, who is turning five. Okay, hey everyone, Levi and I just got home from the birthday party. I left Judah there and Bryant showed up, so he'll bring Judah home. Uh, Caroline, Jamie got home from Texas. He's been in Texas for a week for work, so he's home. And um, he was just tired, so they didn't go. So now we're gonna work on the focaccia bread, getting it ready. I gotta get my oven going. We're gonna get, I hope they hadn't been too long on the focaccia bread, but we're going to get this bread done. And then I can get the chicken tetrazzini covered in cheese and put in the oven. And we're ready to go. That's how quick and easy this is. I've worked all week for this meal. <laughs> but it seems like a lot. But it really hasn't been. I just started early so I could have videos for you guys each and every day. So, all right. I'm going into the focaccia. Okay, guys. So I'm not gonna do. Um, I'm not gonna do the olives on this one. But y'all, the olive bread was a huge hit. Like everybody loved it. Even those that didn't like olives, they just pulled the olives off and they were like, "This is the best bread we've ever had." So let's look at this one, and we're gonna get it kind of spread out in the pan here. And you can see these little bubbles. All right, so we're getting it worked down here really good. And I'm gonna open this olive oil. Of course, my hands are super greasy now. I may need a rug. Wow! We saw some friends and today that we hadn't seen in a while and they brought us a couple of um, Christmas gifts. So it was super nice. Okay. So I'm gonna give it its famous dimples. We're gonna give the dimples. All right. I should have both breads over here so I wouldn't have to wash my hands so much. Okay, so I'm just gonna sprinkle these with salt and Italian seasoning. We're just gonna go super simple. I thought about um, some sun-dried tomatoes and that would be super good, but I am gonna keep it simple today, so. All right, I'm gonna sprinkle with salt and I'll bring you back. I'm gonna do the other one the exact same way. All right, I'm gonna sp I'm sprinkling the Italian seasoning and I forgot one thing. I think I'm gonna use some garlic and sprinkle some garlic on. Okay guys, we got some granulated garlic and we're gonna sprinkle that on this. It's gonna be wonderful. Okay, as soon as my oven preheats, this one's going in. I'm gonna fix the other pan just like this.
We're just waiting for the chicken tetrazzini to come out and we should be good. All right, everybody. Our um, feast is, and Bryant's already picking in it. <laughs> I love mushrooms and I want to get that look. He wants right that there. big old mushroom right there. But here we go. I want y'all to see this salad. Look at that. That is a beaut. All right. And there's the focaccia bread. Turned out beautifully. The family's all here. They're getting their plates. You ready, baby? Yeah. Tell them, tell them, Do what? Yum, yum. Making We're getting ready to eat. Making the boys. Yum, yum. We're getting ready to eat. Tell them. Uh, yum, yum. Not ready to eat. Yeah, <laughs> There's Isaac, there's Jess. There's Jamie. Jamie. Levi. Levi. And, and Judah Bug. How is it, Miss Leslie? <laughs> it was good, my mouth full. So when you crouch. Mr. Isaac, how is it? Delicious. Jess. Wonderful. Jamie? Delicious. Levi, what you think, buddy? Good. He says good. Caroline? Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up with a hair all messed up. <laughs> All right, guys, y'all heard it How's right it here. Oh, you click the joystick Looks delicious. It is oh, so good. How y'all like those red Solo cups with tea? And I did not pre-dress the salad because I knew not everybody would want the Italian, so I left it, and they dressed their own salad. So. All right, we'll bring it back when we finish the night. Well, guys, I'm here at the couch, and I've got some good news and some bad news. And I know I probably should ask you what you want first, but I wouldn't hear your response in time. So I'm going with the good news first. The good news is that meal last night was absolutely amazing. It was wonderful. It has been cold here yesterday. All day was freezing cold. Today has been super cold. And that meal last night just warmed you to the bones. It was so good. Um, I'm fixing some coffee right now, and I think I'm going to get the last of the biscotti. <laughs> it was, to me, that was my favorite item. Um, that and the chicken tetrazzini and well, the salad dressing was delicious. I didn't add that recipe, but all it is is oil, vinegar, mayonnaise, some seasoning. <clears throat> That's nothing really to it. But that meal was so good. And the focaccia bread I think if I had the family vote, the focaccia bread was everybody's favorite. Um, it was delicious. So um, I, I've thoroughly enjoyed trying new things. I, we're going to continue on with doing some themes, but not back to back. So this coming week, I've got a lot of errands to run. I've got some groceries to get. So suppers may be super simple and super easy, and I'll just bring you guys along for it. It may be things I've done before. Whatever the case may be, you'll be with me. Okay, so that's the good news. The good news is the meal was a hit. It was wonderful. We had a wonderful family night. We sat and played cards, played phase 10 uh, after we got through eating, and uh, we had enough leftovers of the chicken tetrazzini that Bryant and I and the focaccia bread because I made so much of it. <clears throat> we came home for lunch and made us a quick, heated us up a quick plate, and it was so good. It was still delicious. So it was a great meal. So if you want to make a meal, that one was really good. Okay, the bad news is we've had, you know, we had, Brian had to do a little bit of work over at the farm while ago, and we have a funeral today. So he has had to rush back to the church in order to get things set up for the funeral today. So, couch time is going to be delayed until Monday's video. So when we get home tonight, I will have him sit down and we will film um, couch time tonight when we get home and from the funeral. So, you know, oh well. But things happen like that and um, just pray for the family who's going through this um, death. Pray for our church. It was a sweet member of our church. And uh, it was a gentleman who has blessed us and has been an inspiration to our entire church. 
So, that being said, I'm going to say goodbye. We will see you Monday. And remember to tune in Monday for Couch Time because we will definitely have it on Monday's video. But I want to get this one done, edited, and out to you guys. And so we will see you tomorrow. Thank you for joining us. Remember, the grease is hot enough you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.